Um, I think we had by far the most interesting category. That's no <laughs> slight on the next one. Um, right, I'm going to introduce the panel. Scott Morrison. What a, what a CV. Diesel, Nike. I could go on. But he's also worked at some cr incredible agencies. Saatchi and Saatchi, Widen and Kennedy. So you have had the experience of both sides. Likewise, Nigel. Um, now with Virgin Management as Key Projects Director. Nigel arrived at Virgin Media in January 2011 as its first ever Chief Marketing Officer, also at Lloyd's and also at a number of agencies. And Sarah Ellis, Head of Corporate Responsibility and Society for Sainsbury's, recognised as one of management today's 35 women under 35 and a whole load of other stuff. <laughs> so we have three marketing titans, indeed, to give their views. So... We had a lot of um, entries, which um, were quite fun to watch, but I think there was a lot of consensus about who was pretty good and who could do better, and we will give you some feedback. So, um, the shortlist is as follows. LBI, PhD, and Geometry. What you got there? It's just a unicorn, isn't it? Oh yeah. Nice, nice. Can it like fly and shit? No nah, man, that's Pegasus. This one's still pretty good though. Like can fire rainbows at its horn. There were a lot of detractors around the Cadbury craft activity and what it stood for and what it meant. And it's down to the likes of PhD sort of believing in the idea and continuing to push it through all the changes of craft in Cadbury to actually stay true to what we all believed in. Brands now need to be useful, relevant and usable in people's lives. Broadcasting the same message everywhere no longer creates relevance. So brands must be immediate and accessible. They're when people want them most. People power is back on the rise. So the criteria, I'll keep this short, um, is it clear, is it clearly communicated and demonstrated how much effort went into it and we'll talk a little bit more about that given we were all agency side and we know just how hard it is. The quality of the work, is it reflected and crucially engagement, do you actually want to go and meet the team? I think that's the most important part. So just a few questions. Um, First of all, um, Nigel, um, you're an ex-agency head. You know how much blood, sweat and tears goes into producing these. How do you, how do you reckon they fared? What did you think? Well, I, I, you've got to give a lot of respect to the people who put these things together. Someone mentioned earlier on not giving it to the, kind of, uh, uh, the, the grad trainee to, to do these things. And of course you don't. And every agency person in this room knows how much angst uh, that they go through to create it. And the most extraordinary thing to me uh, on the agency side was we were really, really good at doing this for our clients and totally shit at doing it for ourselves. Because we couldn't actually get the focus, we couldn't actually really understand what it was that made us different. And we all believed that we were different and as uh, I think it was Nigel Bogle said, all agencies start out different and end up the same. And um, we kind of do end up the same. Most credentials that I ever did, and I must have done a few, ended up with a map of the world with, with uh, agencies on it, um, uh, a great deal of talk about creativity, and then a reel. Um, what I thought was really extraordinary about this uh, was that we found those three shortlisted uh, agencies had managed to do something quite different, some in a, in a traditional sort of way and some in a very untraditional way. The, the way that we've, we judged them was were they truthful, were they credible, were they believable and would they arrest us, <coughs> would they stop us from our normal management of the agency process and would they actually make us want to go and meet them. So uh, I think that the winner, as you will see, um, uh, eventually. Wait, 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 wait. I know. <laughs> eventually. We'll have done that. But all of those three that you saw 
struck us as extremely good examples of how to do it, all of them different. Thank you. Um, Sarah, what advice would you give them to make them even better? Um, I think there are probably three things for me. Um, the first one is to, is to be authentic to your, to your agency and your values as an agency. I think the ones that we uh, found particularly engaging were those that, that kind of showed personality, which is a theme that's come up a few times tonight. Um, and I would encourage you to maybe be a bit braver and don't, don't be kind of afraid to, to show a bit more of kind of who you are and what you stand for. Um, I think the second thing for me is around uh, kind of matching the creativity of what you do with the creativity of what you produce for yourself to the, to the point that Nigel was making. There were a few where the work looked fantastic, but I'm not sure the film quite, quite met the same standards. Um, and the last one actually was a kind of reflection for me, having watched uh, a lot of these films, was around language. So there was um, quite a lot of use of, and probably a realisation myself, of lots of marketing terms, lots of marketing jargon. Um, and I think we all have to be careful not to kind of get wrapped up in our own hype. So there is something about um, being really simple, being kind of transparent, quite authentic and honest. Um, and I think if you do that and use the amazing creative brains that you kind of all have in your agencies, that they're the ones that kind of really um, kind of stick out, I think, for, for me. Um, and, you know, as a, as a client, if you think about the person watching, uh, I've only ever been client side, uh, you work in marketing for a reason. So um, I, want, I want to see that creativity. I kind of want to be wowed. So um, be brave. Be brave. Very good. Um, Scott, you had some pretty strong views on the day. It's quite interesting watching you. Um, how should they communicate their personalities and their creativity? There is a fine balance line between being creative and being perhaps overly zany or a bit cheesy. You had some strong views, I, I seem to remember. Well, I, uh, it, was, it was a very robust discussion. <laughs> Nigel and I had quite a robust bit of the discussion. What, what I would say, Suki said something earlier, which I think is very, very true, that if you've got to put... It's actually uh, Julian who said it. Right? If you've got to put your vision and values up around the office, then you really don't have any vision and values. And, and believe me, I, I know how hard these things are. I was actually one of the grads who did the creds reel at Saatchi's many years ago, thinking to myself, why would you give the person with the lowest stakeholding in the business the chance to do something, the, most <laughs> the thing that actually the agency needs the most, which is getting new business in? Managed to produce a good reel, but my God, I wouldn't want it to be critiqued in this, in this forum now. <laughs> but what I would say is, I look back at that video now and I remember, I thought, right, what's going to be great is I'm going to go around the agency and get people putting V's up at the screen and put, sticking the tongue out and jumping around on sofas. And back to the original point, if you've got to show that in a reel, then you really don't have that in your agency. So if you've got to show that you're zany and wacky and crazy and you've got a personality, by doing a very cliché thing, then you have to ask yourself, do we really have that personality in our agency or not? Because are we making it fake or are we making it real? So to be authentic. The other thing is, we often talk about single-minded propositions and get a clear single-minded message and make everything really succinct and clear. And then in a five-minute film, it feels that we're trying to tell everything to everybody. And we don't really use the medium in the way that video and film is. And the, the, the people who did this best really use the medium of film brilliantly. Single clear message, single-minded proposition, fantastic execution, great production values. It could have been an ad. You could have run that for a client. And that got across the personality of the agency that won the best because it felt like it was genuine, authentic and real. And when we saw it, we would have all picked up the phone to, to the winners of tonight. And that clearly is, is, is the difference. Don't do anything that you would in five years or 15 years, in my case, cringe at, which I do. Uh, <laughs> And just be true and authentic and brave. Brilliant. Can you guess? <laughs> Nigel, why don't you um, let us know? Uh, well, I, I agree with you, Scott. I mean, I, I, don't tell me you're funny. Tell me a gag and make me laugh. And that's what LBI did. <laughs> Are you going to... It was really an extraordinary um, process because, as, as you say, Scott, there was a lot of didactic stuff. There was a lot of uh, willfully zany, madcap agency having fun, which actually is a huge turn-off 
guys. It's a huge turn off because it looks like you're they're having a party and you're not invited to it. So don't do that. And um, actually, what you want to do is demonstrate what you're really good at. To your point, Sarah, which is be creative, be brilliant, and persuade us that you can do it for us. So. Excellent. So Gareth from LBI, could I ask you to come down and collect your award? <laughs> Yeah, it's got titanium frame, brand new wheels, got this uh, this little bell, you know, the little bell's going off, listen, ping, ping, you know what I mean, ping. I like that. What's with the shocks? Imported, the best, you can't even get them here. Nice. What you got there? It's just a unicorn, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Can it, like, fly and shit? No, man, that's Pegasus. This one's still pretty good, though. Like, can fire rainbows at its horn. Ooh, nice feature. Can it go really fast? I mean, you know, I can draw the energy out of the universe, become one with all creation, ride the frequency of the cosmos and that, travel in the fourth dimension, so, yeah, it's fast, Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> um, this has got, like, ten gears, so it's basically, like, the same. On the hill, it is well fast. Does it grant wishes? Does it grant wishes, man? It's a unicorn. All right, thank you. See you later, yeah? All right. Safe. Safe. So, do you still want to buy the... Nah. Quick picture. Uh, Gareth, hold on.